Amiodarone is a class 3 antiarrhythmic indicated for the treatment of recurrent hemodynamically unstable ventricular tachycardia and recurrent ventricular fibrillation. In this video, let's find found. What is amiodarone? What is amiodarone used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking amiodarone? How does amiodarone work? How to use amiodarone? What is amiodarone? Amiodarone is an antiarrhythmic medication used to treat and prevent a number of types of cardiac dysrhythmias. This includes ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation, and wide complex tachycardia, as well as atrial fibrillation and paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia. Amiodarone was first made in 1961 and came into medical use in 1962 for chest pain believed to be related to the heart. It was pulled from the market in 1967 due to side effects. In 2020, it was the 198th most commonly prescribed medication in the United States with more than 2 million prescriptions. What is amiodarone used for? The FDA-approved indications for amiodarone are recurrent ventricular fibrillation, VF, and recurrent hemodynamically unstable ventricular tachycardia, VT. The FDA emphasizes that this drug should only be given in these conditions when they are clinically documented and have not responded to normal therapeutic doses of other antiarrhythmic agents, or when other drugs are not tolerated by the patient. Off-label indications include atrial fibrillation and supraventricular tachycardia. Contraindication Women who are pregnant or may become pregnant are strongly advised to not take amiodarone. Since amiodarone can be expressed in breast milk, women taking amiodarone are advised to stop nursing. It is contraindicated in individuals with sinus nodal bradycardia, atrioventricular block, and second or third degree heart block who do not have an artificial pacemaker. Individuals with baseline decreased lung function should be monitored closely if amiodarone therapy is to be initiated. Formulations of amiodarone that contain benzyl alcohol should not be given to neonates because the benzyl alcohol may cause the potentially fasping syndrome. Amiodarone can worsen the cardiac arrhythmia brought on by digitalis toxicity. Side effects Cough Dizziness, lightheadedness, or fainting Fever, slight Numbness or tingling in the fingers or toes. Painful breathing. Sensitivity of the skin to sunlight. Trembling or shaking of the hands. Trouble with walking. Pharmacodynamic. After intravenous administration, amiodarone acts to relax smooth muscles that line vascular walls, decreases peripheral vascular resistance, afterload, and increases the cardiac index by a small amount. Administration by this route also decreases cardiac conduction, prevent and treating arrhythmias. When it is given orally, however, amiodarone does not lead to significant changes in the left ventricular ejection fraction. Similar to other antiarrhythmic agents, controlled clinical trials do not confirm that oral amiodarone increases survival. Amiodarone prolongs the QRS duration QD interval. In addition, a decreased SA, sinoatrial, node automaticity occurs with a decrease in AV node conduction velocity. Ectopic pacemaker automaticity is also inhibited. Thyrotoxicosis or hypothyroidism may also result from the administration of amiodarone, which contains hulls of iodine, and interferes with normal thyroid function. Mechanism of action. Amiodarone is considered a class 3 antiarrhythmic drug. It blocks potassium currents that cause repolarization of the heart muscle during the third phase of the cardiac action potential. As a result amiodarone increases the duration of the action potential as well as the effective refri period for cardiac cells, myocytes. Therefore, cardiac muscle cell excitability is reduced, preventing and treating abnormal heart rhythms. Unique from other members of the class 3 antiarrhythmic drug class, Amiodarone also interferes with the functioning of beta-adrenergic receptors, sodium channel, and calcium channels channels. These actions, at times, can lead to undesirable effects, such as hypotension, bradycardia, and torsades de points, TDP. 
In addition to the above, amiodarone may increase activity of peroxisome proliferator-activated receptors, leading to steatogenic changes in the liver or other organs. Finally, amiodarone has been found to bind to the thyroid receptor due to its iodine content, potentially leading to amiodarone-induced hypothyroidism or thyrotoxicosis. Half-life The terminal half-life of amiodarone varies according to the patient, but is long nonetheless, and ranges from about 9 to 100 days. The half-life duration varies according to different sources. Dose Stable monomorphic or polymorphic ventricular tachycardia, off-label. 150 mg 4 bolus in 10 minutes, may repeat Q10 minute as necessary, then. 1 mg per minute 4, for 6 hours, then. 0.5 mg, 4, for 18 hours, not to exceed 2.2 g, slash 24 hr. For breakthrough episodes of VF or hemodynamically unstable VT, repeat the initial load. ACLS, pulseless ventricular fibrillation, slash ventricular tachycardia, off-label. 300 mm 4, or interosseous push after dose epinephrine if no initial response to defibrillation. May follow initial dose with 150 mg 4Q3-5 minute ventricular arrhythmias. PA. Load, 800 to 1600 mg POQ day for 1 to 3 week till response. Once adequate arrhythmia control achieved, reduce dose to 600 to 800 mg slash day for 1 mo, then reduce to maintenance dose. Maintenance dose, 400 mg POQ day. 4. 150 mg over first 10 minutes, 15 mg per followed by 360 mg over next 6 hours, 1 mg per minute, then 540 mg over remaining 18 hours, 0.5 mg per minute, for a total of 1000 mg over 24 hours before administering maintenance infusion. Maintenance, 0.5 mg per minute for a total 720 mg per 24 hours at a concentration of 1 to 6 mg slash ml, 360 mg per 200 ml, or 1.8 mg per ml nexterone at rate of 278 ml per minute. Duration of therapy may continue to enter 0.5 mg per minute for 2 to 3 weeks regardless of patient's age, renal function, or ventricular function. Safety advice. Also, amiodarone from class 3, potassium blocking agents, is classified as category D due to the risk of fetal hypothyroidism, prematurity, and growth retardation, while sotalol is classified as category B. That's all the information about amiodarone we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.